The Nintendo Switch has been revealed. It's Nintendo's latest console. It's coming out next year. There's a lot of buzz and speculation about it, and it doesn't have the word Wii in it. Incredible stuff. My name is Danny Burke. This is Most Amazing Top 10, and I am here to give you guys the top 10 facts about the Nintendo Switch. All right, before we get into this, I have a random gut feeling that you guys might enjoy our latest video over on Life's Biggest Questions, where I discuss the theories that the moon landings were a hoax. It's getting a lot of love over there, so I thought I would share it on this video because I know how much you guys love all things spacey and crazy, so check that out. But for now though, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch and coming in at number 10, it's a hybrid home and portable console. This is probably the most notable thing from the trailer that Nintendo released. We see the player enjoying the game on their TV screen, but then he slides off the two parts of the controller, slides them onto the console itself, and then he just walks out the door into the real world, continuing to play where he left off in Zelda. It looks pretty high quality, so fans that were worried about losing visual quality when switching between home and portable modes can just chill out. This seems like a pretty big improvement on the Wii U's limited portable range, and it looks like Nintendo are now bringing their handhold expertise to the home console market. Will they be able to cover both grounds effectively? We shall see. At number 9 now, the controller is called the Joy-Con. Although Nintendo have a history of not explaining their strange names for their products, this one is pretty self-explanatory. It's a mix of joystick and controller. I think. There's been quite a mixed reaction to this name already. Are both of the separate controllers called Joy-Cons? Are they together just called a Joy-Con? I don't know. Some people don't like the name either and think it's a little bit childish. I kind of agree. Nintendo are always trying to reach older demographics and I can't see anyone around my age seriously saying, pass me the Joy-Con, will you? What do you guys think of it though? Coming in at number 8, the release date is March 2017. We don't know the exact date that month but Nintendo has have confirmed it will happen sometime during that month. It might seem like a pretty random day to most of us, but it could be a very tactical move on their part. You see, its release date is almost halfway between the PS4 Pro's release date of November 2016 and the Xbox Scorpio's release date in the holiday season 2017. This could just give them breathing room in between their two biggest competitors and push their sales up significantly if all eyes are just focused on them. Next up at number 7, it uses cartridges. In a world where everything seems to be moving towards digital, it might seem a little bit strange that Nintendo have opted for cartridges in the Switch. Their last three consoles, the GameCube, Wii and Wii U, all use mini discs. You have to go all the way back to the N64 to find them using cartridges. But those aren't the same as these. It's thought that these ones contain the latest mass ROM chips that can hold up to 32 gigabytes. Perhaps even two of them are going to be inside the Switch. Switch. If so, it's probably going to be able to play any high-end game just like we saw in the trailer. So the good news is that they're going to have more than enough memory. And also, no disc means no spinning little motor, which means a lot longer battery life if you're using a cartridge. Moving on to number 6, we have multiplayer. It looks like there will be a number of different ways to play with other people on your Switch based on what we saw in the trailer. You can simply set up different Switches next to each other, you can have just one Switch and pull off the two Joy-Cons, still sounds weird to me. Anyway, you pull off the two Joy-Cons and use them as two mini controllers, almost like the Wii Remotes, or if you have two different sets, you can use them just like the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. If you're playing more of a technical game though, perhaps a racing one, you can always slot the two Joy-Cons onto their accessory and use that as a controller, or you can use the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which looks pretty much the exact same as the Wii U version. So many choices. Next up at number 5, the screen. The Switch will have a 7 inch screen, about the size of your average smartphone or mini tablet. It is a slight increase from the Wii U's 6.2 inch screen, but it seems like Nintendo want to keep their size fairly discreet because it's still supposed to be a portable console, right? Also, judging from the trailer where nobody touched the screen, it's not going to be touch screen like the Wii U was. This kind of makes sense as the games we see in the trailer, such as Skyrim, might not really work best on a tiny little touch screen. What do you guys think though? Moving on to number 4, the graphics are backed by Nvidia. They're one of the top dogs when it comes to graphics and so there's a lot of buzz about them being behind the Switch's graphical display. They say they're going to include a revamped physics engine, advanced game tools and fully custom software. 
Ooh, I'm not quite sure what that means, but it sounds really good and technical. Quite simply, they say that it will bring lightweight, fast gaming to the masses. You guys watching this are the masses. Hello, masses. Personally, I think it's encouraging that they aren't just lumping on an updated graphics engine. It does look like they're building the Switch's graphics system from the ground up this time. Coming in at number three, the games. No point in having a good console without good games, is there? So what will people be playing on the Switch? Well, in the trailer, we see the likes of Skyrim Definitive Edition, NBA 2K17, Splatoon, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wind, and the new 3D Super Mario and Mario Kart 8. They also released a huge list of publishers who they're working with, such as EA, Activision, Sega, Ubisoft, Capcom, Konami, and Telltale Games, to name but a few. Actually, that was quite a lot, it wasn't just a few, but you get the idea. There's some really big names out there making games for the Switch. Next up at number two, they could be quite rare. Nintendo have announced that by the end of the financial year, which is March 31st, they hope to have shipped two million units of the Switch. This might sound like a lot, but it's actually over a million less than they shipped for the Wii U's launch, where they sent out over three million units. So why are they doing this? Well, it could be because Nintendo are being a little bit cautious after the Wii U which was, by and large, a commercial disaster. This time, they're going to set their launch sales bar a bit lower, but if the Switch ends up being a huge success, which it looks like it could be, there could be millions of gamers that simply can't buy the Switch. Millions of gamers without Joy-Cons in their hands. What a sad day that would be. And finally now, at number one, Nintendo are holding back on the rest of the details. I probably could have made this into a top 20 video, but Nintendo are being very secretive on some of the specifics when it comes to the Switch. When consoles get announced, we usually have some idea of how powerful they will be, maybe how much it will cost, but other than what we've talked about in this video, we don't really know too much. Nintendo said in a statement that full game demonstrations, the list of launch window titles, as well as launch date, price, product configuration, and related specifics will be shown and announced prior to the March launch. So I guess, guys, sometime before March, I'm sure we're going to make an updated top 10 about the Switch when we know more. What do you guys think of it, though, from what you've heard so far in this video? Do you know you're going to buy it already? Are you sure that you definitely won't? For now, though, I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope you have a lovely remainder of your day, wherever you are. My name is Danny Burke. This is Most Amazing Top 10, and I'll see you all in the next one.